and co-founder of Advanced Training Performance. It's that time of the year where people come out of the woodwork to work out and get rid of all of those nasty habits that they've developed over the last couple months. But more than likely in their pursuit of fitness, they realize that they need the help of a fitness professional, which means that for us, our schedules become filled with the client orientation. Here's where we can be prepared in that client orientation to not only gather all of the information that we need to help that client get to their goal, but to help them stay there. When I'm doing a client orientation, I focus on five main things. The first thing being I ask open-ended questions. These types of questions help me to get the answers that I need and to elaborate more from the client exactly what it is that they're looking for. From that open-ended question, the second thing I look for is affirmation. I affirm exactly the answer that they give to me so that I can begin to start that rapport, that relationship, that communication, and understand exactly where the client is coming from and what they mean by different gestures, tonality. The third thing I do is I reflect. I reflect on those answers that they give me to those open-ended questions, meaning that what does it mean for that client given their history, their experience, their level of fitness, and how this is going to affect all of them getting to their goal and truly begin that empathetic feel for who they are and where they're trying to go. The fourth thing is I summarize. After asking all of the questions in the client orientation, I summarize exactly what it was that we discussed, making sure that we're on the same page. And the fifth thing, I feel this, this is the most important thing that a lot of trainers leave out, is expectations. No, I'm not saying expectations of, of me towards the client. I'm literally asking the client what it is that they expect of me. I believe that this is the golden ticket that will help them get to their goal in a way that's individual and unique to that client. I've decided to ask a few clients what their expectations of, of their training. I expect motivation through my trainer's creative uh, change-up of our daily routines. First and foremost, I expect from my personal trainer education to make sure that I'm doing my moves correctly and I am always learning new things and staying motivated. I expect my trainer to be professional and what I mean by professional is that they are um, on time and communicate if things are changing and in that sense, but I also expect them to motivate. I expect them to be on the cutting edge of what's new and what's not and what's safe and what has been proven to be most effective. I expect a lot out of my trainer. I expect my trainer to be energetic, enthusiastic, and creative, and always positive and encouraging. I expect a trainer to motivate me and to find ways to make working out fun, because it's not always fun, and to be able to kind of read me and gauge whether I can be pushed a little further that day or if I'm having an off day and I'm tired and I need to kind of take it easy so that I don't get too discouraged. I've always been active and I, I guess I expect my personal trainer to educate me um, uh, and challenge me on fitness and, and health. I expect for my trainer to be fun and to push me to my limit and not be afraid to push me to my limit. Um, to help me be more motivated and to encourage me to do the things that I am uh, struggling at. So, as you can see, all of those different clients have different expectations and different means to get to their goal. But those are important key pieces of information that a trainer can utilize to help that client along the way, keeping them motivated, changing up their program beyond just choosing exercises, but really making the workout for them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about five tips for successful client onboarding or in general, please leave a comment and we will do our absolute best to answer you. And if you want any more information about PT on the Net or Haley Hollander, click on the links in the description. Subscribe to our channel. We upload a video every other week.